How is it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to Sky Vaults. And in this episode, there has been a very, very exciting update that has come to the mod pack. It's still in uh, technically in alpha at the moment, but this uh, looks like probably the greatest update I've experienced so far for this mod pack. It is really, really awesome. Probably for two or even three reasons. Uh, there's actually a brand new type of vault, uh, which I'm most excited about, called the Paradox, or Divine Paradox Vault, uh, which, uh, it, it's a little bit involved, but basically what it allows you to do, uh, towards the end game, is to, uh, create a vault with specific rooms and modifiers in the, that vault, and that vault will stay fixed, uh, as you've created it and you can actually run it once per day You still have to craft a specific crystal for it But you can actually run it once per day and you know exactly what modifiers and rooms vault rooms You're gonna have in that vault which makes it potentially extremely extremely overpowered because you could put like mine rooms in there you could put uh, you know uh, Omega rooms like mushrooms, you could put, um, you know, libraries, blacksmith castles, all of that stuff. It is just going to be so amazing, but um, kind of expensive and there's a lot of work involved in setting up, up which is just going to be awesome for the end game though as well. The other thing though, there's another type of vault that they've added uh, in this update also. And it is called the Herald Vault, and this is something that I'm really glad that they've decided to put in because it gives you like an end point. Even then, though it doesn't technically end the mod pack, you can still keep playing. It does uh, allow you to unlock a final boss uh, fight that you can actually go back and fight as many times as you want afterwards. Um, and a final vault um, in which to fight the final boss. Uh, and that, I believe, uh, becomes available if you collect all of the artifacts and at level 100 as well. But there's a ton of other updates to the game also, which uh, I'll go through, I think, as we run the, uh, the first vault of the episode. Just because there's so much stuff I want to talk about, and I don't just want to be standing there talking about it, I want to be showing you guys. So there's also some new, uh, some new quests which I will touch on. Uh, one of them is to reach level 40. <laughs> so, yeah, cool. Uh, we did it. We did it. We reached level 40. Uh, so basically what this does now with this update is it makes the vault gods aware of you. So, uh, cool. Uh, I think that means we can get favors and stuff like that from them and the challenges as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the reward, not so great. One vault stone. Uh, I mean, yeah. All right then, I'll take it, I guess. Um, but then, uh, the other thing, let's take a look at the other quests that we potentially have here. So there's also the alchemy table has finally got a quest which explains what it's for. We already know though, uh, cause we already created one of those. So it says acquire an alchemy table. So we can just pick one up like so to complete that quest. Blammo, we've done the alchemy table quest. And this actually gives us a few vault diamonds and eight gold, which is, uh, yeah, always good. Let's put those in there. Uh, let's see what else we've got quest-wise. So there is an artifact one here as well. Now, this is pretty cool, actually. They've brought in something called an artifact tome, which actually shows you where the puzzle pieces go once you collect all 25 artifacts, so you know what order to put them together. Otherwise, it'd take a while to figure out. I guess. So that's a little cool little thing, but it also serves a secondary function once you collect all 25 in that it gives you the crystal to go into the final vault if you're the right level, I believe. And the reward for this quest is an art is a unidentified artifact, which is pretty amazing because I've only found one of these so far. So we need to acquire an artifact tome for this one. We might as well get that done as well. So this is basically going to require us to have two black chromatic steel ingots and a lectern, among other things. So I think I have exactly two black chromatic 
ingots left, which is pretty cool. So then we get that, and we can turn that in to get ourselves the free unidentified artifact. And I really hope that this one is uh, going to be um, one of the other 24 that we don't have. I mean, it's extremely likely to be the other ones, but let's just see what we get here. Oh yeah, baby, we got, yep, we got a new one here. That's, that's pretty awesome. So let's take this one back off here because what this does, like I said, it shows you exactly where to place these so they're in the correct locations. And I think we just have to place this down in front of a wall like this. Yep. So as you can see, it, it, it gives you a, a sort of grayed out outline of where all the pieces go, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I don't know if it, uh, if we click on this, it doesn't, no, it doesn't do anything at the moment because we don't have all 25 and we're not level 100. So uh, yeah, we know exactly where to put everything now and it will tell you if you put it in the wrong place as well. But uh, obviously this one goes up there. That's the new one we just got. And then we've got this one with all of the gold. Let's see i think it's hmm. let's see where is it it's hard to see those ones up the top there okay let's keep looking here uh it's this one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so we've only got another 23 um, artifacts to find. But the good news is that I think it's from level 50 plus. They've actually increased the um, chance of getting artifacts, which seems pretty cool to me. So yeah, that's... Um, so one of the other updates. <clears throat> anyway, let's uh, let's just go back here and we will check out the rest of what am I doing here? We'll check out the, the if there's any other um, quests we can do. So there's one here for dungeons, which is a new one as well. It just basically asks you to open a dungeon door, and the reward is pretty awesome. You get a, a straight up pog, which is amazing. Uh, and then there is a, another quest we can get done here, which is uh, the gods. Now, before we look at that one, though, the treasure rooms one. So with this one, I believe they made it so treasure rooms only appear from level 50 onwards. So unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to actually use the key we made in the last episode on a treasure room door. Uh, until we hit level 50. <clears throat> so that's that's one little tiny downside. Anyway, going back to this uh, this new quest here, the, the gods. Let's take a look at this one. Because this might explain one of the major changes in, um, in the update. <clears throat> Alright, where is it? The gods. <clears throat> it says, The gods. It is time to get familiar with the vault gods. Neither good nor bad. They are Idona, the god of battle. Tenos, the god of knowledge, Valara, the god of life, and Winda, the god of time. After level 40, you can find charms rarely inside living chests. They cannot be crafted. So charms are a new item altogether, and you can actually put them in the charm slot. So uh, instead of uh, putting like one of the trinkets in the charm slot, uh, the trinkets have their own special, two special areas down here. Uh, which are the blue and red trinket, which makes a bit more sense for those. Getting back to uh, the gods quest, uh, let's have a look at this. So after level 40, you can find charms. Uh, they cannot be crafted. Charms are your way to show your affinity to a specific god while inside a vault. They can be identified by rolling them like gear. And there are four different tiers of charms. Noble, Distinguished, Regal, and Majestic. The higher the tier... I don't know why they didn't just have the normal, like, qualities, like, you know, um, Omega, Epic, etc. But, okay. The higher the tier, the more affinity they can have to your god. So, affinity gives you a higher chance to get a favor uh, from the gods. Charms have uses and cannot be unequipped or equipped during a vault. So, you can't just switch them around inside the vault uh, to exploit it. 
A use charge is consumed every time you interact with the god altar inside a vault. So that's a little bit similar to the trinkets. Affinity is important to understand for your next quest. So here is your first charm. Identify it and wear it proudly. Nice. So we get a free charm out of that quest. Uh, did, we, did we actually pick that up? I'm not seeing it here in my inventory at the moment. Uh, the gods complete. There we go. We should have it now. Cool. So I guess we roll these. Yeah, we roll these. And we got, okay, a noble one. So what were the tiers again? Like, it's confusing when they rename tiers, like, as far as, as far as, like, how good they are and stuff like that. I can't go back and read that one, can I? Uh, let's, uh, where is it? Gods. Dis noble, distinguished regal. Okay, so noble is obviously the bottom tier one, but that gives us 15% Wendar affinity, which is pretty cool. So we can now we can wear this and uh, check it out, guys. It follows me around. How cool is that? A little guy following me around. Uh, they did remove the idols, which I didn't use anymore anyhow, because they weren't that great. Um, I can probably just chuck all of those out. Now, I don't know what... I don't know what would happen with these, but... Um, it, I'm even scared to roll these, to be honest. I don't know why... Why have I got all of these in here? What the heck, man? These should not be in here. I must have accidentally flushed them through without rolling them. <laughs> what the heck, man? Uh, okay. Um, I don't know what level these are, but there's even an epic magnet in there. That's so weird. Hmm. Anyhow, uh, yeah, that that's that's the thing. So yeah, the idols are no longer are no longer used for anything. Um, they've been removed. So if I do find any, I'll just trash them. Uh, I wasn't using them, like I said, anyway, because they are no lo they were no longer that that great. These things right here. Uh, let's just. Let's just recycle these. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game or anything weird like that. I should just recycle all of that stuff actually when I get around to it. We'll just we'll just chuck those in there. Bye bye. Uh, all right. Let's see uh, if we can do in the next quest here. So the next quest here is God Altars. God Altars will start to appear in vaults after level forty. The altars represent one of the four gods. Interacting with one of these altars inside the vault will give you a challenge by the god. And these challenges at the moment are extremely hard to complete, by the way. Completing the task will give you a favor, strongly buffing you in the vault. And if you're lucky enough and show enough affinity to the god, you can also gain a reputation point. So these are extremely important and valuable for unlocking rooms once you get the divine paradox vault um unlocked failing the challenge will curse your vault and these curses are extremely bad as well uh note you can only reach 25 reputation points in total after that point you will lose reputation with another god when gaining a new one and the reward for this one uh, which is completed god altar is a pog as well which is pretty cool so, Dungeons and God Altars, I guess, are, in, are, are our next quests uh, that we can actually complete inside of a vault, which is, which is nice. Um, so, at the moment, as far as my God Affinities, I did have a couple of points in the God Affinities prior to the update, because as you can see, it's all been reset to zero now. And we have the Wind uh, Affinity of 15%. At the moment, so um, we've got to remember Wendar is the yellow one. I got to look out for that one because we got a slightly higher chance 
of getting a uh, what, what did they call it? A let's have a look. Uh, reputation point. Yeah, that's that's the main thing we need to grind out for the Divine Paradox Vaults. Alright, enough of the questing stuff. Let's get our first crystal of the day unlocked. Now, we still are trying to get inscriptions, guys, so we can build out our um, Arctic, Architect Vault. Okay, so to make the crystal, we need 10 spider eyes, we need 11 stone, we need 28 beetroot seeds and 2 quartz. All that is super doable. Let's get it done. Okay, that should be everything we need for our level 45 vault. Let's go. Let's uh, grab that. <clears throat> now, I do have an expertise point to spend as well. So let's take a look at that. Now, I was waiting for the update to drop rather than spending this in the last episode because I know they, they were adding and changing a few of these things. So um, we have, let's see here... A couple of things here have changed, like the jeweler expertise, which we'll look at a bit later. Um, but also the... Where is it? Um, the divine expertise. So I never thought this was really worth taking before, but now that uh, these, um, these points are important, uh, reputation points are from the gods are super important, um, I think this might actually be worth putting a point or two into. Um, so it basically increases your affinity rating for all Vault Gods, making them more likely to give you a favor when completing a God Altar. So I think instead of a favor, this is going to be the reputation point. Um, so we will put a point into that. Uh, that's going to give us 10% um, for all, across all of the different Gods. So now we have 25% Windar Affinity and 10% for the other ones, which is going to be good. Okay, guys, so we'll uh, get the, all our vault, vault gear ready to go, and then we'll head into the vault, and we'll talk a bit, a bit more about some of the other changes and a little bit more about um, how the major updates are going to work as well. So I'll see you guys shortly when I have all the gear I need to go into the vault. Okay, we are ready to go into our first vault of the episode. Have our little charm ready to go as well. And uh, just a reminder of the um, bounties we have at the moment. We have th mine three Escalium Ore, and this is going to give me a chaos, chaos Vault, which is awesome. And an absolute ton of Chromatic Steel, which is always good. Uh, and we also have a Mining... Uh, two Xenium Ore, so this one we still haven't completed, and this does give quite a bit of Knowledge Essence here as well. 28 Knowledge Essence, which is actually pretty awesome right there. So, um, yeah, that's actually pretty decent indeed. Anyway, we are going to head up and into the vault, and as we go through the vault, I'm going to try to talk about some of the other updates that came through with this latest major update to the game. So let's head on into a level 45 vault. Let's go. All right. So we have an elixir vault and we also have a soul surge. I've noticed they've changed the icon for this. It used to be a ghost looking thing. And now it kind of makes more sense because it's a soul shot. Uh, yeah, this should be a straight, fairly straightforward one. I imagine. Is this water? It is water. Interesting. Now I'm, now I'm stuck down here. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, wait for the vault to load in and then we'll go through and we'll start talking about some of the updates as we go through and do some looting. Hopefully we can find a god altar um, to try out the new challenge thing as well. Alright, you know what? I think we're pretty good to go. Let's head on through here. So, we'll start with the big one, and uh, this is the thing that I am most excited about. Uh, there is a new uh, type of vault uh, called the Divine Paradox Vault, and uh, what this is, let's just take care of these guys. There we, wow, they give a lot of elixir. Um, the Divine Paradox Vault is a vault where it starts off with just the uh, starting room with the portal in it. 
Um, what you need to do is you actually need to buy rooms to unlock those rooms in the vault. And uh, you buy them with the uh, god reputation points and also vault gold. And they are quite expensive. Uh, you can actually run this vault, this custom vault, uh, once per day, which is every 20 hours, uh, IRL hours. Um, and it's also got a specific objective as well, where you have to uh, collect a certain amount of the four god uh, favors. So it's very exciting because you could potentially unlock something like an Omega room, like, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, like a, a dragon room or... Uh, you know, something crazy like that, um, that you could run every single day. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be quite expensive to make the crystal for it, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Um, now, the other thing that I'm really, really pleased about is they've introduced the Herald Vault. And what this is, is it's a vault which contains the Herald, which can be seen as the final boss of Vault Hunter's... Um, version 3 and uh, it's basically a boss fight that takes the player through different stages of vault hunters and can be seen uh, sort of like a raid fight so you can do it multiple times um, and you get a trophy at the end I believe as well which has the the time that you've completed it in so I guess you know the challenge is to try and complete it as quickly as you possibly can and beat your personal best but that's really good because it Basically opens up what could be called like the final vault um, for the mod pack, which sort of puts a cap on on a playthrough like the one I'm doing, where you can have a more satisfying ending with a bit more closure. Let's get these wooden chests here. Um, now the other thing, um, in line with the Divine Paradox vault that I was talking about before, that you customize and you unlock the rooms in, and you can run it once a day. Um, so the, they have overhauled how the God altars work and we'll try and find one in this vault to, uh, to try and do a challenge in. So basically now the player is tasked with a time challenge that scales with difficulty and completing the challenge always grants one of two favors from the specific God, which applies a, uh, positive modifier to the vault for the rest of that vault. Failing the challenge, though, curses the vault, and the curses are really, really bad as well. Um, now, reputation is a net, is now gained instantly when completing a god altar if the player has enough affinity and gets lucky. Uh, so, for instance, if you have 50% affinity, you have 50% chance to get a reputation point when you complete a challenge. Uh, several reputation points can be gained per vault. And the max reputation is 25 now, which means you can have 25 points of reputation spread across um, the four, four gods. Getting the 26 reputation point will remove a reputation point randomly from another god. And the god transmogs also get unlocked permanently when hitting 25 rep with any particular uh, god. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll explore a bit more and try and find a god altar just so we can check out and try and do a challenge. Alright, let's see what's through here. Take care of these guys. They're a lot tankier now, level 45. But uh, we're getting there with the elixir. Alright. Oh, this is uh, this is what we want. This is a, uh, a god altar, obviously. Uh, Tenos, I believe. So we click on this and we get a challenge. In this case, we've got to kill 59 assassin mobs and we're given about 9 minutes to do it in. So that's quite a lot of assassin mobs. We are going to have to get lucky with the type of mobs that spawn as we go through. But uh, we'll set the compass here so we know where to come back to. Because you do have to come back to the altar to turn in the quest if you can complete it in that time as well. So let's uh, try and spawn in some assassins here. Alright. we got to focus on these quests I think to try and get them completed. Because they are not easy right now. Um, I need to find spawners here. 
So assassin mobs are things like slimes, believe it or not. Um, I think spiders as well. Uh, skeletons, depending on the dungeon you've got. Um, those more glass cannon type mobs that do a lot of damage. So this, those guys are tanks. These guys are tanks. We're looking for... Um, we're looking for assassins here. Um... Oh, I really want that, really want that health from that uh, pile on. Okay, there's a lot of guys in here right now. Just trying to get out of here. Let's, let's, uh, let's grab that to get max health. Try and kill these guys off. Uh, just gotta be careful. Wow, oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap, let's just zap them and be done with it. I don't know why I'm taking them on with the uh, old uh, sword when I've got got the lightning of the gods to rain down on them. Okay, let's take care of these guys. So we only got five assassin mobs there. We're gonna have to... Okay, I think these guys though... Yeah, these slimes are definitely assassin assassins and fortunately a lot of them spawn once you start breaking up the big dudes. Let's just get these chests while we're at it. Uh, so I probably want to kill the rest of these slimes here. Um, try not to get too badly hurt by these uh, tank guys over here. Let's just use the poison nova as well. Uh, Alright, oh boy. Okay, let's not get cornered. The little tiny slimes don't really do any damage. Especially if you've got a lot of um, poison avoidance like I have. Um, but... We've only got 15 assassin mobs so far. We're gonna need we're gonna need to get working here to get to uh, 59 <laughs> in the six and a half minutes we got left here for the challenge. And uh, we've we've got only seven and a half minutes left in the actual vault as well. Let's just try and finish these guys off. I'm just trying not to get hit too much because these guys actually do a lot of damage. These uh these chubby zombies oh oh god oh god oh god why am i in my, in my inventory right now <laughs> what the hell dude oh boy uh okay you know what let's just get this living chest up here i don't know i don't think we're gonna get this challenge i mean i'm certainly gonna try i really would love to get a reputation point from one of the gods like i'm not really worried about the favors too much because by the time you get the, these challenges done, I don't think there's going to be a ton of time left in the vault to benef benefit from the modifiers you'd get. But I mean, they're always nice, right? To get some, some positive modifiers, especially looting related ones. Still have to get the last of this elixir as well. I'm trying to multitask here. Anyway, while we go looking for more assassin mobs, I'll talk about some of the other changes. Um, so getting back to um, the new accessory item. So these are charms. Uh, they can't be equipped or changed inside the vault, but you can obviously wear them into the vault. Um, and what they do is they give you a certain affinity percentage for a god. Uh, and they also have um, a certain number of usages. So every time that you complete a god altar, it uh, uses one of those usage points that they come with. So it, it's sort of kind of like a trinket in that way. Um, so we are definitely going to want to get some of those so that we can um, get a higher affinity with the gods to maximize our chance of getting a reputation point. Let's just kill these slimes here. Uh, there's also a new offhand item that is replacing the idols. So idols have been removed and it replaced with a with an offhand item called a focus. I don't know why they call it a focus because there's already focuses in the game that do something completely different. But anyway, it looks like a book and it's kind of meant to be a utility offhand which focuses on sustainability, magic, resistance and mana. So we'll have to see what they're like. Um... And it can also roll utility abilities like dash or heal, you know, an additional point in those type of uh, skills. There's also a new item called the Plunderer's Pearl, and this is a catalyst that can be added to a Vault Crystal 
which adds the plunderer modifier. And what that does is it stops you getting any experience in that vault, but it increases item quantity by 10% and ore yield by 20%. So that sounds pretty interesting, actually. There's uh, quite a few new quests and also some slight updates to some of the older ones, apparently. Um, and there is um, a new item called an artifact tome as well, which is used later on when you've collected all the artifacts to um, give you access once you get to a certain level um, of vault experience. Gives you access to the Herald Vault that we talked about with that boss fight in it. There's also a big change to the, how the jewels, jewel cutting works. So instead of uh, just uh, having a chance to reduce the quality of the jewel or destroy it altogether, uh, it always, when you cut a jewel now, it always cuts it down to just, just the level below. So that means that any of the... Um, the, um, what are they called? The cracked pearls, the cracked jewels, the lowest quality jewels. Uh, if you try and cut those, they will always be destroyed. Um, now, unless you have extra points into, um, the jewel cutting, um, expertise. Um, and it also costs vault gold instead of vault bronze when you cut a jewel. Uh, but on the plus side, um, jewels will now come in smaller sizes from 10 to 35 instead of 10 to 90. Um, uh, once you take out the jeweler expertise, it changes to guarantee one to three cuts depending on the level before downgrading the jewel. So that sounds like it's going to be pretty essential to take out um, when I get more expertise points as well. Uh, okay, we got 29 of 59 with a minute 22 left. Remember, we have to get back to that older if we do manage to complete this, um, challenge, which is looking unlikely <laughs> at the moment. Um, some other changes that have come in with the update is treasure rooms only spawn from level 50 onwards. So even though I cut a key, uh, for a treasure room, we're not going to be able to find any until level 50 now. But that's okay. It won't take as long to get there, I don't think. And one of the reasons it won't take long to get to level 50 is they increased experience gain in the vaults by 100%. <laughs> and loot gain by 30%. So that's a really good um, addition because it just makes the mod pack just that little bit less grindy, in my opinion. Uh, apparently they re reworked some of the common rooms to have more loot and points of interest as well. Um, and I think those are the main changes, um, that I thought were worth mentioning. What is going on up there with that slime? I think that might be, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, this is kind of good though, because these guys are actually assassins, but I mean, there's no way we're going to finish this challenge for Valara. Um, okay. We just got cursed. Because we didn't complete the God Challenge. So we got uh, Enervated. Healing in the Vault is reduced. So I, I think it just means that, like, with one level, I think it's just going to mean that my heals only do 50% of the healing that they would normally do. So it's not the worst curse in the world to get. There's a lot of much worse ones than that, trust me. Uh, yeah, so particularly that that jewel cutting thing is gonna is gonna take a little bit of uh, getting used to uh, We haven't got much time left here in the vault, but the good news is we did complete the elixir objective So all we have to do is find um, Find a lodestone. I just want to get this ore real quick. I hope I'm not greeting too much here I could live to regret this decision. I, I still have my oh I still have my Kiwis left, though. Uh, we just need a lodestone. Um, oh, here's one down here. Perfect. Alright, let's hit that. <laughs> Vault completed, guys. We didn't complete the God Challenge, but uh, we had a go at one for the first time. So that's, uh, you know, that's something. We got some experience under the belt there. 
All right, so we completed the vault, which is pretty awesome. We also got an absolute ton of XP, which gets us to the next level, level 46, which is very nice. Very nice. We didn't complete either bounty, unfortunately, but at least we found one Escalium Ore, so that's pretty nice. Let's head on down. And uh, we also completed one of the quests, which is cool. So, I'm just going to chuck some of the junk stuff in here. Let's chuck all of this in here. Some of that as well. And we'll take a look at that quest, because we did complete the God Altar quest, which gives us a pog, which is very nice. Let's uh, chuck that in the system as well. And this actually brings us to the next quest, uh, which is Divine Paradox Build Realm. Now, I don't know if we have to be level 50 for this or not. Let's have a look. Now that you know a bit about the gods and understand their altars, it's time to let you know about the Divine Paradox. The Divine Paradox is a vault designed completely by you. It can be revisited once every day and can be customized to fully suit your needs. In order to get started, you'll need a seal of the Ordinator. I don't think it's called that, actually. Let's have a look here. Seal of the Ordinator. Oh, it is a seal of the Ordinator. Okay. Seal of the Ordinator. Seal of the Creator. Hmm. Oh, this requires a seal of the Creator. Okay, I got it. <laughs> uh, so where were we? In order to get started, you'll need a seal of the Ordinator and apply it to a crystal. This will grant you the access to the build realm of the Divine Paradox, letting you buy rooms for Vault Gold to extend your vault. Each room is associated with a god and will require you to have the sufficient reputation with that god to build. Every time you add a room of any god, the reputation requirement from that god goes up. The build realm of the Divine Paradox is empty in terms of loot and mobs. It exists solely for you to design and extend it. You can enter it at any time, and you can craft a crystal and seal it with the seal of the Creator. So let's start there. Craft a seal of the Creator, attach it to a crystal, and explore the world of divinity. Attach a seal of the Creator to a crystal. So I believe this will use up the crystal, though, so we might wait on this one until we actually get... Um, a god favor, because <laughs> we are going to be able to open any rooms anyway without any any god favors. And you guys saw in that last vault just how difficult it can be to complete the god favors. Um, they're not exactly easy. I think a little bit of luck is going to be required. You know, for that assassin mob killing one. Like if I had found, you know, a challenge room or something that that would have helped with that one. But as it was, it was pretty tough. Anyway, I'm going to sort out the loot, guys, and uh, we'll, we'll maybe stash it for now, and uh, we might run another vault to see if we can get any god favors from that one, and uh, I'll be back shortly after I am organized, so I'll see you guys soon. Just about time for vault number two. So for our second crystal, we needed uh, sugar cane, we needed stained glass, salmon, and quartz. So let's get that. Done, and I thought I would regret a few skill points as well, uh, because what I wanted to go into a little bit more is if we remove the uh, last stand there and go into toxic reaction, so that'll bring us up to 70% uh, chance to proc the Nova. Uh, then I'm going to go into Nova another level as well, uh, and maybe into... Uh, Storm Arrow, let's see, let's go into two, two levels of Storm Arrow, that sounds pretty fun, <laughs> and we're going to head up and into the second vault, uh, this time though, I really want to focus on those altar challenges to try and get at least one done, they do seem like they're going to be hard though, unless they balance them some, at some point down the track. So it looks like we have a monolith vault. We got to find six monoliths. Uh, actually, I just want to check one thing with my backpacks here to make sure I've got the pickups set correctly. So let's get rid of the idols because they are removed 
from the game. And there was one thing that I didn't have in here yet, which has been dropping lately, which is repair cause and also the new the new charms. Hopefully I just need to put one of these in here. All right, that's good stuff. Okay, we'll head on through. So we're going to be trying to focus on finding the god altars and doing those god altar challenges. Let's just mark that. Uh, all right, let's see what we've got here. Do a bit of a scan. Okay, there could, I think that might be a god altar there actually. In the first room where we have a monolith right next to it. That's crazy. Let's just see what the quest is here. We've got to kill dweller, 60 dweller mobs. Oh my god, that's going to be very difficult. That They're the, um, they're the vault dwellers with the red shirts on. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to find those guys. I mean, usually you get them when you, when you have a, a trap chest that spawns them in, but, um, Hmm, that's, uh, that's potentially problematic. Let's go through, and if we could get something like a, a desert village or something like that, that would be perfect for this. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty difficult. Get 60 in that time, that's just insane. Um, so, oh, we got... Okay, we got two here. That's the start. Somehow, though, 60 just seems way too many. We've got eight and a half minutes as well. If we could get lucky with a dungeon or something. Or well, not a dungeon per se, but... Um, see what we can get spawning in here. Those are assassin mobs. They're just regular goobers. Don't care about them. Um... Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty difficult, I think. Let's keep, uh, keep looking for a better room. Wait. Oh my god! This is the first time I've ever found this room. In all my time playing, uh, Vole Hunters. God damn, this this is uh, an Omega room. It's called the Pirates the Pirates Cove, guys. Um pretty cool. So basically what this one has is just an absolute ton of coins. Um and there's no mobs in here whatsoever. But you know, because the first time I found this one, I actually want to loot it. And I want to get some of these 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 um banners as well. I can't remember if I've got those banners for my base yet. Oh, we should get an absolute ton of coins from this. Um, and coins are very important going forward as well. We've also got cannonballs. Let's get a few cannonballs. Skulls. These are pretty cool. So yeah, this is like the dragon room for coins, but there's no mobs here to attack you. <laughs> It's actually pretty awesome. Look at this. Unbelievable. I can't believe this is the first time I've found this room though. I've found the dragon room a, a few few times now, but this this room I don't know if it's just my luck or what it is, but so there should be more coins down here as well. Let's have a look down here. Let's 
They're all through the water too. It's pretty awesome. Let's, let's get a screenshot of this. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Pirate room for the win. <laughs> I don't know where to start. There's just too many coins. Like if you could craft a custom, uh, a custom, like architect vault with this, this uh, room in it, and just put tons of like, um, modifiers on there for extra coins, like wealthy on there. I think it is. It would be amazing. But yeah, there's coins down in the water and everything. This is mad. Makes it a little bit challenging, challenging to get all the coins because they're all underwater and everything. Coral in here too? So cool though. We are going to get cursed though from failing that challenge, but I don't think I would have been able to get that one done anyway. It's a little bit on the next to impossible side. I think I've got enough banners now. The skulls are pretty awesome though. I wonder how many coins this will give me compared to a, a dungeon, uh, a dragon room. I, I suspect the dragon room is, is probably going to be a little bit more because um, you have to kind of fight everything to get the coins as well. Um, Apparently pirates like tiki torches. <laughs> Did we get most of them? I think we got... What's this back here? We got... Okay. We haven't got these ones. There's a, there's a wheel back here too. This thing. We might as well take that. That's from Create. got all the coins I feel like we got most of them I'm sure I missed one or two but I think we got most of them what a cool room though I'm glad we found this let's uh let's get out of here Okay, how much time we got left on the challenge? Two minutes. We gotta wait to see what curse we get here. But we might keep uh we might keep moving this way. We sort of went round in a circle to get here. And uh we'll see what else we can find through here. Alright, let's see what we've got. We might head on through to the next room. <clears throat> I I should start scanning for more monoliths really. Still got quite a few of them to find. Uh, okay, we might have one up here. We might even have another god altar up here. Yep, monolith. Yep, then we got a god, god altar over there too. It seems like the god the different gods seem to have this the same sort of challenges i thought they would have been more specific to the gods personality but i don't think they really did it that way but not yet anyway ouchie so yeah well we'll have to check out 
what curse we get in 20 seconds when we fail this challenge. So I don't think we're going to find another 58 Vault Dweller mobs to kill. Okay, four seconds. Wait, I don't think we got a curse that time. Is it only a chance of a curse or is this bugged at the moment? That's interesting. I was pretty sure they always gave you a curse if you didn't complete them. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's pick up another one, uh, another challenge from this one. Um, we'll just... Okay, we've got to kill tank, 10, ta 10 tank mobs. Okay, good stuff. Um, then we're going to come back here. Ten tank mobs. Uh, all right. So we know we just marked that it's up top there, and let's go through and hopefully we can find. I mean, this one is possibly doable. We got eight minutes thirty nine for this one. It's all uh, RNG in in terms of what which mobs we get through. Oh, here's a tank mob down here. I just can't help hitting the, uh, hitting the chests. Um, I gotta ignore them, otherwise I'll run out of time. Oh, but the guild, okay. Well, I do want to kill that guy, he's a tank. Take care of you. Should be nice and quick. Okay, the rest of them don't matter down there. Uh, let's go find some more tank mobs, if we can. Um, there was another god altar in that room as well. Okay, this one is... I don't think you get tank mobs from these, do you? If they're, if they're the bad version. I'm not really sure. But I'm not going to risk it. Could just be a waste of time. Give me a tank mob. Another tank mob. Another tank mob. God damn. <gasps> Okay, that was kind of scary. We might go through to another room. <laughs> I'm traumatized. I nearly got blocked off. Trapped by that giant slime back there. Ouch. Man, there's got altars everywhere. We need to find the tank mobs though. Mm. I don't know if it's worth going up top or not. You know. uh, what is this? It's another X marks. What the heck, man? Usually I'd be pleased to see these rooms. Unless it's the same one I came from. Uh, five minutes left. We got to find eight tank mobs. Not what we require. Not what we need. Okay. 
don't think we got any there. And not from there either. Living chest up there though. Potential source of inscription pieces right there. Alright, let's just move on. Even this one, like, on paper it sounds like doable, but I don't know if it is. I think they will make adjustments to it though. Trouble is, I don't think they, they get a broad enough spectrum of people testing these beta. Um, or they're, they're not even beta though, they're alpha um, updates. Okay. Oh, here we go. We got two at once. That's uh, three at once. Okay, I gotta be careful not to die here. <laughs> this is pretty intense. All right, that's beautiful stuff. Oh my god. Will you? Okay. Okay, and we got two more over there. That's actually pretty good, but we but we actually need th we need five more. Okay, we got we got the final two over here. Oh, those turtles, man! 25 seconds left. I'm trying. I'm trying hard here. There we go. So we got them all done and we got three seconds left to go back to the altar to turn it in. And uh, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. And we did get cursed that time. Mana leak. So with mana leak, you don't regen any mana. But I do have my potion, I guess. A few living chests here. Oh, there's an inscription. Beautiful stuff. Or is it nice that's a full-on inscription so that one gives us 58 seconds in the vault uh, and we needed about three inscriptions to complete the architect vault we were working on uh, all right I got four minutes left here um, let's I don't know I don't know what to do at this point <laughs> let's let's just keep going Let's get the Kiwis out. Uh, we're on the other side of the vault. We're going to have to go all the way around. That's okay. We should have time. If we um, Kiwi up. This was the pirate cave. <laughs> Alrighty. We just have to follow these back. I haven't got any mana for dashing, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, this should be the portal room, hopefully. Yep. Uh, where is it? I think it is. Yep. 
All right, we made it back. We completed the objective. We did not complete any god challenges, though, sadly. But uh, we do get to level up, so that's pretty nice. We'll claim that. And let's just chuck out some of the junk that we got here. I think we got the completion. Oh, we got a we got a noble charm as well, which is the same level as the one we had at the moment, I think. Um, cut and decide. Where's the completion crate? Where did that go? Uh, there we go. We got it. All right, let's go down, guys, and I'll organize the loot, and we'll check it out together in a moment. All right, welcome back, guys. Let's take a look at the loot that we got. So we didn't complete any bounties, unfortunately, but we did get two completion crates, which is pretty awesome. So let's crack these open. We got this one here first. First, which is the elixir one, uh, and we got a bit of lemon there from that 14 volt gold, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and we we got some jewels as well. Let's take a look at these. Uh, size 11 floor jewel, that's pretty good with reach and trap disarm. Uh, pulverizing is not bad there. Um, Okay, the rest of those, nothing to write home about. Let's chuck those in there for now. Uh, that in there, Orb of Regret. We got a Bounty Pearl and a Moat of Clarity. And we'll put the gold in there. So yeah, it's a shame we didn't complete any of those bounties, but it's just, you know, we weren't really prioritizing the, the ores on that one. Uh, okay, let's uh, take a look at the next completion crate here. See what we get from this one. So we got a mod box, which is pretty awesome. A couple more orbs of regrets, eternal souls. Uh, not very good. Coin, um, jewel there. Size 11 ornate. Uh, size 13 trap disarm. Uh, yeah, okay, and a little bit of Vault Bronze there too, let's just chuck that in there. I'll sort out the, uh, the jewels later. Uh, and let's see what we get, got from our pouch loot as well. So, one thing that I was impressed with, more than two rows of Soul Shards, which is crazy from killing all those mobs in that, probably in that second vault, I would say. And look how many coins we got here. <laughs> A lot, a lot of coins. In fact, uh, I want to I wanna check out how much gold we get out of this. So we got straight up nine gold there. Let's grab all the bronze that we can out of here and we'll craft it into gold over here. Uh, put that in there. Grab, let's grab all of this out of here because I kind of want to compare it to what we got in the dragon room that, that I did not that long ago. I feel like there wasn't as much gold, but then again, we weren't having to fight any mobs to actually pick it up, so we would have picked it up a lot quicker than uh, than otherwise. So, 25 gold. Let's have a look at this. So, all in all, we got, and most of this was from that, that um, pirate cove, 34 volt gold. So I think if I remember correctly, we got about 50. I could be completely wrong on that, but I feel like it was about 50 we got from the dragon room. So it's probably not quite as lucrative as the dragon room, but they do, the individual rooms do vary a little bit as well. It's still really, really good though. And we are going to need all of that gold going forwards um, for all of the stuff that we will need it for in the, in the divine paradox vault. Uh, all right, let's see what else we got here. So a little bit of, um, you know, stuff like the carbon there. We got some magic silk, 31 volt diamonds, two stacks of knowledge essence, which is pretty nice. I wonder how many soul shards that is equivalent to. Let's take a look at that. Uh, 86... Hang on. Uh, so that's eight, ten, 
plus I have this one here. I think we only need one more knowledge shard. Oh, you know what? There's an unidentified relic fragment in there. I'm actually going to get that. Uh, if we can. Let's buy that real quick. Um, and we'll put these in there. Okay. Getting back to the loot. Uh, what else did we get here? Anything particularly good? 15 catalyst fragments. Um, some relic booster packs. So the inscription is pretty huge though for what I, what I need going forwards. And we got some burger stuff there. I think we got a few. Yeah, we got 10 inscription pieces there. And let's grab the vault stuff out of there too that we need to roll. Uh, let's go down here. That, 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 that. Oh, and we got a noble charm as well. Um, cool. All right. So, um, chuck that in there. Cool. So inscription wise, let's take a look here at what we've got. Um, I think we can maybe craft a couple more with these. So let's get one more of those. I think they are eight. So that gives us, okay. Um, so let's just see how much stability, um, or how much completion we would get out of these ones, um, in total, because we might be able to complete or be close to completing the mushroom room that I was trying to make with this, um, architect seal. So this by itself is 17%. That's 26, 37, uh, 45, uh, 50, 7, 50, uh, 57, 60, 65, 69, uh, 71, 73, 75% completion. Uh, we still need a couple of decent ones to get it up to 100% completion. Okay, we're slowly getting there there guys, trust me. All right, we'll just uh, crack, crack open these. And we didn't get anything out of those. Uh, we'll open the mod box as well here. We got a basic thermo generator to add to the collection. And then we had our noble charm there. Let's see what we get with that. We got a Wendar, 13% Wendar Affinity. So the one I've got at the moment is 15%. Oh, we got exactly the same. God, <laughs> I guess we've got a backup though. Because um, they do have a limited number of uses. So we'll put that in there. With that and that. Okay, and we have our unidentified relic fragment as well, which is a minor relic. Let's um, see. I don't think we have that one yet, so that's pretty awesome. We just need one more to complete the minor set there. We're getting close with a couple of those relics, which is good. Okay, so that just leaves the vault stuff to roll. Um, let's put these up here. Okay, let's see what we get here. Bam. All right. <laughs> what did we get? Uh, okay, that's not that great. Not that great. Not that great. Not that great. Uh, 11 armor. No, it's not that good. Um... Plus one level to Spectral Cry. <laughs> uh, Vault Boots here with 12 armor. These could potentially be good. I'll hang on to those ones. Uh, this is not that good. Wow, look at that axe. An Omega. That is an amazing... That is an amazing transmog. Wow, that looks... Awesome. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to use axes, but that's pretty cool. 20 attack damage, plus one chaining attack on that as well. 
That's super cool. We could, we'll keep that just because we might put it up somewhere, somewhere to look cool. Put that in there. Um, and I was going to keep these. All right, let's see what else we got here. Nothing great there. A rare sword. And, okay, we'll recycle all the rest of these. These will all get recycled, but let's take a look at this sword. So the sword we have, 13 attack damage, which is the, at the lower end, unfortunately. We could try reforging that, because I do need a good sword. At the moment, I've got 16. All right, let's 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 see what we can get on this. So I'm going to use one of these very expensive fundamental focuses. Um, did I have any? I've got one there, actually. Amplifying, nullifying. And we can flush the rest of that stuff through this, through to the system, I think. Put these in here. And recycle. Alrighty. Um where were we? Over here. Alright, so we're gonna use the fundamental focus to reforge the uh the implicits and hope hopefully we can get more damage that's the main thing i'm after here uh we wow 20 attack damage okay yeah that is exactly what you want right there um and 1.6 attack speed so plus three chaining attack on that that's pretty solid actually oh i'm tempted to go back to chaining from sweeping Um, we got attack range and arthropod damage. Hmm. Let's put some more bronze in here. That's not bad. Like 35, 47% illegit damage and sweeping hit chance. I mean, illegit damage is pretty rare. And attack speed, 35, straight up 35 damage with nearly maxed out Illigia damage. That's pretty good. Is it better than this one? Well, this has got Illigia damage on it as well, actually. This has got a lot more attack speed. So these are both pretty good. But... Yeah, this one's slightly better. So, we'll enchant that one. And... I think we'll, we'll see what we've got as far as transmogs go. We could go back to the refracted blade, that was pretty cool. Um, otherwise, the, the transmog on it at the moment is pretty good. Yeah, we'll just keep that one. So this is going to be the new sword. And we'll put the old one on the backup set here. Nice. Say goodbye to this sword. <laughs> cool, we have a new sword. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, we didn't really um, progress with the god stuff, unfortunately. Uh, it's It looks like it's going to be pretty hard unless they um, tweak it to, to make it a little bit easier for people to complete those challenges or change the type of challenges or the time that you have to do the challenges. Any of those things, not having to turn them in at the altar, any of those three things would, would make it better. Because <laughs> otherwise it feels like just hitting your head against a brick wall, trying to get those things done. And then at the end of it, even if you did manage to complete it, you'd only have that small chance of getting the, um, the, uh, the reputation point that you need. So, in the next episode, hopefully we can um, manage to get some more... A couple more. We only literally need maybe two inscriptions. 
um, to complete the architect vault with the mushroom room. And then when we get, we, we, we only need, I think, one more knowledge star's worth of, uh, of these to unlock the three mods I want to unlock to get an awesome mob farm happening. It's going to be so, so good, guys. I can't wait to get that set up. But for now, that's where we'll leave this episode. Uh, I hope you are enjoying this series, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.